Hi, JJ here from the new JJ22. I just wanted to kind of give you a rundown here of some of the soundtracks that I have that I consider to be cheesy. And uh, they're kind of a guilty pleasure for myself to listen to. But they are from probably not the greatest of movies. But the soundtracks are still fun and the music's fun to listen to. So first one I have on my list is Over the Top. To this day, I still move my hat and uh, think it it changes my attitude. Um, on this one, it has uh, Meet Me Halfway by Kenny Loggins, which was probably the biggest hit off the album. It also has The Fight by Gino Murato, um, Bad Night by Frank, Frank Stallone. It also has on here um, I Will Be Strong by Eddie Money and Winner Takes All by, Sam, excuse me, by Sammy Hagar. Next one I have is Rocky V. I would say Rocky V of all the Rockies is probably like the most montage based of all of them. It's like one training montage after another, after another, after another. So this one has on here, Can't Stop the Fire, That's What I Said, No Competition, Go For It, Hearts on Fire, um, Take You Back, The Measure of a Man by um, Elton John is also on this record. This is an import that I got from the UK. The soundtrack to 90210, 90210 back in college, my roommate and I had a great idea. Rather than go to the bar and use some cheesy pickup line on some chick, what we would do is we would tape episodes of Beverly Hills 90210 and we would watch the episodes and then create conversation with the chicks at the bar for the episodes or for whatever was going on in the show for the drama and um, we found it to be actually to be quite successful. The biggest one on here is probably the duet with uh, Vanessa Williams and um, Brian McKnight, which is Love Is, which is probably the biggest song off the record and probably the bi biggest uh, music video for this one. Next one I have is the soundtrack to Zapped. Yes, you are seeing Scott Bale and Willie Ames themselves on this um, soundtrack right here. Um, what this story was about was apparently the, the Scott Bayo character had telekinesis powers where he could uh, move clothing, he could make people float, he could uh, he had all these um, powers um, that he could do because of a science experiment uh, that went wrong. Next one is a big dream of mine since I watched this on Beta in my parents' uh, living room or den as a child. This is the soundtrack to Bachelor Party. Uh, on this soundtrack is uh, Oingo Boingo is on this one, R.E.M., uh, Jules Holland uh, are all on this uh, particular soundtrack. This is a sealed soundtrack. If you want to look in one of my earlier videos where I actually show when I opened this and how it came packaged, that's a whole other story, and you can check out that video. I, I guess I can leave a link to that one uh, down below. The last one, I classify this one as, as, as cheese because it's, well, it's meatballs, which already there itself. Uh, Rick Dees did a lot of the, the soundtrack to this particular one. It, it has a lot of movie quotes on it. It has a lot of like orchestration. Then, you know, Are You Ready for the Summers on this one, the song Meatballs. But um, it's just not a lot of substance, but it's still just fun to listen to because it's the movie Meatballs. Ivan Reitman, um, great film, filmed up in Canada. And um, I've always uh, been a big uh, fan of this film ever since I was a kid. It was always on cable. It was always on regular television. It was always kind of a fun uh, mainstay film to watch. And last but not least, probably the cheesiest soundtrack I own in my entire collection would be Break Into Electric Boogaloo. Break Into Electric Boogaloo. Dim da da dum do do. Dim da da dum do do. Dim da da dum do do. That's one of the songs in this one. Um, one of my favorite parts of this movie to this day is still, uh, Ozone right here, falls down some steps, uh, crashes, breaks all his arms and his legs, and it's still, after all that, in the end of the movie, he's able to perform and do all the rap and all the dancing and everything else that's needed. Also to mention, Ice-T is also on the soundtrack as well as Ice-T is also in the movie as well as a rapper in the film. So... Those would be probably right now the most cheesiest soundtracks as the channel progresses. Progre expect to see many, 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 many more cheesy soundtracks um, coming out of me. And so I just want to remind the vinyl community, let's bring each other up rather than bring each other down. Have a great day.